Hi there, welcome back. This is now the discussion on tables and graphs with the type of limits, which is one-sided limit. Let's do this. This is the example. The limit of the, the square root of x minus 6 as x approaches 6. So again, we have to construct our tables. We are identifying the x values here. So for high to low, that means numbers higher than 6. We opted to add 2. And then the, for the first four numbers, we have 0 0.5 as the increment, followed by 0 0.1. Same with low to high. So let's substitute the values here. If you have your calculators with you, please take note that you have to start with the lower value if you're using the same calculator as mine. So this is the uh, starting value and this will be the end value. And please use 0 0.1 for the step. So to refresh you on that, Please press mode and then tables. It will ask you for the f of x. So type the square root of alpha x. Look for the red x, not the multiplication symbol. Minus 6. Press equals. It will ask you start type 6.1. Don't mind the 1 na default na naka-enter dyan. Don't mind that. Press equals. Oh, by the way, for some advanced calculators, little dyan g of x. Skip that. Just press equals to skip it. Okay? And then end is 8. Don't mind the 5 na naka automatically input there. Step is 0 0.1. Don't mind the 1 uh, value na naka input dyan sa calculator ninyo. And voila! We have the values now. Get two decimal places. So for 8, we have 1.41. For 7.5, we have 1.22. For 7, we have 1. For 6.5, 0 0.71. 6.4 is 0 0.63. 6.3 is 0 0.55. 6.2 is 0 0.45. And 6.1 is 0 0.30. Now, if you will observe, your x values are approaching 6, just like what our limit notation is stating. And then your f of x or your function now is approaching 0. So please take note that this is a table that contains numbers higher than 6. Kaya meron tayong notation dito na 6 plus. Now, let's try this one, low to high. Again, this is the start start value. This is your end value. You always begin inputting the lower value so your calculators won't result to an error. Step is still at 0 0.1. So if you will type that in, you will be able to get errors. It will just say error. Why? Because... If you substitute numbers lower than 6 in this case, then we will get negative numbers which will uh, result to an imaginary number if you get the square root of that negative number. What do I mean? Say we substitute 4. 4 minus 6. What you'll get is the square root of negative 2 which will yield you an imaginary number. And since we are talking about functions which have real numbers or whose values are only for real numbers, then the limit from the left side of 6 or from values lower than 6 does not exist. Therefore, the answer to this limit now is 0, but please indicate plus stating that this limit just comes from numbers higher than 6. The plus sign there will determine what side of the equation are you coming from. Now, to be able to visualize that, let's look at the graph. Again, we type the function f of x is equal to the square root of x minus 6. Okay, square root of x minus 6. All right, and you could see from the graph that there are values coming from the right side. Values coming from greater than 
6. This is 6, diba? This is your limit. However, there are no existing values. There are no existing values coming from the left side. Wala. Galing lang lahat sila dito sa right side. That's why when you indicate your limit, you have to indicate 0 positive. It's approaching 0, right? And this is how a one-sided limit would look like. It only comes from one side. Ta-da! That's it for this video. See you on the next video for the discussion of tables and graphs when the limit does not exist. Bye!